came over to Dragon's house to give Dragon a bongo lesson. Alligator showed Dragon the right way to hold the bongos. Okay, now, like, let's hear you bongo a bit, he said. <laughs> Ouch. Ow. Whoops. Was I that bad? Asked Dragon. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Sorry, it wasn't you. Uh, try again. Oh. Ow. Dragon was worried his bongo playing was so bad it was making Alligator's ears hurt. Ooh. But mm. Alligator shook his head. No, oh, it's not your playing, little blue dude. No, it must be my playing. Ow. No, it's not your playing, said Alligator. Oh, it's my tooth. Whoa, it's starting to hurt. Oh. Oh. Alligator's tooth started to ache more and more. Soon, it hurt Alligator too much to talk. So he tried to show Dragon how much it hurt by pounding his fists against his chest. But that didn't seem to show it well enough. So Alligator tried to show Dragon how much it hurt by smacking his tail against the floor. That didn't seem like enough either. So he added the bongos. Now Alligator felt he was showing Dragon exactly how much his tooth hurt. Dragon thought if Alligator's tooth felt anything like how Dragon's ears were feeling right now, that tooth must really hurt a lot. A persnickety pearly. Alligator had a sore tooth, and Dragon wanted to help. There must be something I can do to make your tooth less sore, <laughs> said Dragon. Ow! Alligator agreed that it would be very nice if Dragon did something to help. Oh. <gasps> I know. <laughs> Dragon tied a pillow to Alligator's head. This'll make the pain go away for sure, said Dragon. Ow. But it didn't make the pain go away. And it makes me look silly. Oh. Um. Just a bit, agreed Dragon. But I know something better that will help. <laughs> Dragon decided what Alligator needed was a nice hot cup of tea to soothe his sore tooth. Ooh, thank you. Very nice. <laughs> the tea was very nice. But Alligator's tooth was still a bit sore. Dragon decided it must be because Alligator's chair was too hard. Oh, you need to sit somewhere softer. Oh, good idea, agreed Alligator. So Dragon made Alligator's chair nice and comfy. But his tooth was still sore. Dragon had put a pillow on Alligator's face, and put a pillow on the chair, and he'd made a nice cup of tea. I wonder why your tooth is still sore, he wondered. <sighs> Dragon decided it must be because it was too bright in the kitchen.
alligator's tooth couldn't possibly be sore now, thought Dragon. Ah! And, amazingly, it wasn't sore anymore. <laughs> Ooh! Now it was loose! Dragon had no idea taking care of a tooth could be so complicated. had been sore, but now it was feeling loose. And the loose tooth made a funny whistling sound whenever Alligator tried to talk. Whoa, listen to this. <laughs> sure, it was a fun noise to be able to make, but Alligator didn't want to make a weesh sound every single time he said something. <laughs> Whoa, that would be annoying. See? <laughs> but most of all, Alligator didn't want this tooth to fall out. He liked this tooth. Ooh. Of the many teeth he had, it was one of his favorites. It is a very nice tooth. He decided they needed to come up with a way to keep the tooth in Alligator's mouth. Uh, hmm. Dragon was happy to help his friend. Dragon figured that if Alligator didn't want his tooth to fall out of his mouth, he should be upside down. Then the tooth would stay in. Dragon thought this was a very clever idea. Except being upside down this long was beginning to make Alligator feel just a bit dizzy. Dragon had another idea. He thought Alligator should just hold his tooth. It can't fall out if you're holding it in place. Mm -mm. <laughs> Alligator thought this seemed like a good way to keep his favorite tooth in his head. Except... <clears throat> Dragon decided if Alligator was going to hold on to his tooth all day long, he should do it outside, where there was more room for elbows. Oh, uh, like... I don't know if I can hold my tooth all day long, um, said Alligator. No, oh, I might just have to let it fall out, dude. <sighs> Dragon felt a bit sad that he hadn't helped Alligator keep his tooth. Yeah, 
Uh, it's like a baby tooth, right? And a new tooth will grow in its place. So I don't really need it anyway. Explained hmm. Alligator. You'll just grow a new tooth? Then why are we trying so hard to keep it from falling out? Alligator agreed there was no reason and started to get very excited about his new yeah. tooth. <laughs> hey, hey, I can't wait to see what my new tooth will look like. Oh. Come on, Toothy. Out you go. Out. Now Alligator wasn't worried about his tooth falling out at all. Although Dragon was a little worried that Alligator was wiggling his head so hard now, all his teeth would fall out. <laughs> Losing a loose tooth. Alligator had been worried about losing his tooth. But now that he'd decided it was going to fall out anyway, he was trying to speed things up. Come on, I'm in tooth! But no matter how hard he wiggled and shook and bounced, the tooth wouldn't come out. Dragon gave Alligator a big piece of his chewiest onion and pickle taffy. But no matter how hard Alligator chewed, and no matter how sticky the taffy was, Alligator's tooth stayed put. He did enjoy the snack, though. Dragon decided to scare Alligator. Shouted Dragon, hoping Alligator's tooth would fall out. But then Dragon remembered shouting boo is how you cure someone's hiccups. Alligator tried humming and drumming the tooth out of his mouth. Dragon said Alligator should try saying words that started with the letter P. Uh -huh. Hoping that would make Alligator's tooth pop out. Pansy. Uh, pickle. Potato. Pancake, pixie, pitter patter, puddle, um, poodle. Tried alligator, but that didn't work either. Whoa, nothing I do is going to make this tooth fall out. I guess you'll just have to wait until it falls out on its own. Alligator agreed. Mm -hmm. He'd stop trying to make the tooth come out mm. and just wait for it to fall out <laughs> Naturally. We'll see you tomorrow, little blue dude. <gasps> my tooth! Oh, my tooth! Oh, it finally fell out! <laughs> Dragon was very happy for Alligator. His tooth finally came out, and now he could show it to all his friends and a new tooth would grow back in its place. And Dragon had helped, sort of. I'll grow up and you'll see. I'll be like you and you'll be like me. When I'm grown and not young, I'll still really want to have some fun. I'll grow up, who knows when And the fun for me will never end When I'm grown, yes it's true There'll be lots of things that I can do I will have adventures grand Climb a wall and kick the sand I will have some babies too And love them all, it's true I will gather berries blue And eat them all before you do But you won't get too mad at me When I'm grown up, you'll see I'll grow up and you'll see I'll be like you and you'll be like me When I'm grown and not young I'll still really want to have some fun We'll grow up, you and me Just like mom and daddy said, you'll see We'll be grown and that's cool There will be no rules and no more school when I'm grown, I'll be so big, I'll have problems of my own With important things to do, it will seem 